All right. At the airport. I am on my way to meet Radiant. I think I see him. Come on. <laughs> We're crossing the stream. It's over. It's over. <laughs> Oh, so same. Oh my god. From November 9th to the 13th, I traveled out to Mesa, Arizona for Battle at the Border 2023. This was a Smash 64 event that included Remix, and this marked my first time traveling out of state for a Smash 64 only bracket. I've been to SmashCon, now Supernova, and Low Tide, but those always had other Smash games that I entered. This was a new experience and one I was not doing alone. I also traveled with friend and reoccurring channel guest, Radiant, aka Careful Man. This was his first time traveling outside the state of Florida, and we'd be roomies for the weekend. We were picked up by a friend of Radiance at the airport, and we traveled to our first stop, Raising Cane's. Though there are locations back home in Florida, this was my first time eating at one, and it was rather good. I mean, it's chicken tenders, and I'd be kind of mad if they were bad, but if it's a consolation, I ended up going there a few more times during the weekend. After, we went to our hotel, where I touched base with the cameras. Hey, short vlog from me in my room. So, Rady and I got here safely. Um, Note, I totally forgot I was rocking a mustache, and I'm not gonna lie, I cannot pull this off, but no one laugh in the comments, thank you. Got some food, probably showed that off already. Um, he's off to go hang with some of his friends, because he's got uh, some local friends in the area. Uh, I'm chilling for now, I'm just gonna charge my phone. I, I guess I could figure out where the fuck to go in this godforsaken place. Um, why did they do that? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm kind of just vibing today, and kind of tomorrow as well. I might head to the venue, because it's at like a gaming bar. So, it, today is ranked night for Melty, and I have my controller and my laptop. I just don't have like an ethernet, and I don't see one in the room. So, I'm gonna go try and see uh, if I, um, if I go to the bar gaming place, maybe they have an ethernet and I can go play there. And so I marched over to the gaming bar that would be the venue for the event. It's a two-story building, though I would only stay on the first. As day one would be tomorrow, I went to one of the computers and got myself set up with a drink and some melty blood. Though I've been to gaming land centers before, the atmosphere was quite different and kind of nice. Also, playing on Fiber Connection is so nice, and being able to fight the West Coast players on Good Connection for once gave me some nice practice. Once the night was mostly concluded, I walked back to the hotel, but not before stopping by a conveniently located Chipotle to use one of my Chipotle free cards I got from Evo and Combo Breaker. Okay, I'm back in the hotel room. I thought I would comment on something uh, a little bit that I noticed as I walked into the hotel room, but outside is super nice. The, the weather, it's cold, but like, ooh, it's a nice cold. That is like, it's perfecto. So, ooh, I think, I was a little worried because when we were talking um, with uh, Radiant's friends, they were mentioning that like in the winter it gets super cold and like, it'll get chilly at night, which makes sense. That's how deserts work. I, I understand the science behind it, but like, I was a little worried. I didn't really pack for the cold, which like on the airplane, I was like, hmm, that might be a, a little tricky. I know at least my sleeping stuff will be good for it, but I was a little nervous that I wouldn't be prepared and I might need to go, like buy something. But <laughs> no, nah, this walking back at 10 o'clock at night, that was so nice. I, uh, I'm very, very excited to keep doing that for the next few days. On Friday, I woke up, got some exercise, posed in front of a mirror, and I cannot believe I looked like that. Why? Then went for some food. The reason I'm not eating at the hotel today is because I missed the breakfast time at the hotel, and I still wanted to eat. So today, I went to a place called Bean Chain Coffee, and it was a very chill place. All right, I am done with food. It was very tasty, though. I don't know, I think the combination was a little weird, but because I asked for the cream cheese and the cheese that would have been on it off, uh, it probably would taste very different. Uh, I just don't really like cheese very much on most things, so that's usually why I have to ask it off. It was either that or I was going to get the, the rustic, uh, so I got the picnic. I was thinking of getting the rustic, but it was there's no meat, and I'm like... Okay, I got, I got two options here. I could try and ask if they could put the prosciutto that's on the picnic on the, um, on the, uh, the rustic. 
Or I could get the picnic and just get the no cheese on there. And I opted to do the latter. I also got a strawberry and fuck, I don't remember what the other one was. Uh, I, I should have a picture of it. Strawberry and something latte uh, with oat milk, and that was very tasty. So we're like a good amount in. It's almost seven. Um, the initial table setup, we'll be changing it tomorrow, but it's cool. We've got some games going. Radiant's here. Uh, Grandma's here. Everybody's here. Very cool. I know tomorrow that monitor is going to be changed to either show bracket or TV or like a stream. Um, I've got some ideas for the setup that we'll probably do tomorrow. Uh, unfortunately, someone took my spot at the, the PC I was playing for Melty, so I either have to go to a different PC and download Melty again, or I have to wait. I think I might wait. This setup. This place is super cool. This is awesome. It was still a bit early, and I wasn't too focused on playing Smash 64, so I ended up getting more Melty games online to keep up the grind. At this time, I was really focusing hard on more Melty practice. CEO Taku two months prior drove me to improve and do better, while First Attack got me motivated further. And I, I cannot stress enough how good it was playing West Coast people on Good Connections. It was almost night and day to being back home. Eventually, the night came to a close and Radiant and I made our way back to our hotel. We decided to watch a few movies over the weekend, with our first choice being Snowpiercer. Now, we did record a video of us talking about it, but looking back, I really took too much control of the discussion in a mix of summaries and thoughts, and it took almost 30 minutes to say that we liked it. I hadn't heard of the movie prior, but we were both pretty invested the whole way through. Saturday was Smash 64 Singles Day, and we both ate at our hotel's breakfast, which was... it was mid. Like, it was breakfast, but for a hotel breakfast, it was very okay. After that, we attempted to go on a side adventure, but that didn't really pan out, and we concluded this walk by returning to Bean Chain Coffee, since I really liked it and wanted to show Radiant. Um, so we went back to this cafe I was at yesterday. Uh, Radiant got a tea, and we're gonna share a, a cinnamon roll, because it looked good. Uh, I'm getting a tea with two shots of espresso, because I guess I'm just a, a, a caffeine addict now. I got the, so it was the London Foggish, but it said you could add a shot of espresso to make it the London Smog, and I was like, that sounds fun. And then they asked me if I wanted one shot of espresso or two, and I got two, so I was like, oh, yeah. Does he know her? Uh, Does he know her? Yeah. <laughs> After this, we went to the venue proper and helped set some stuff up. A little chaotic start, getting everything together. Uh, impromptu move to some of the ledges. Shout out to the venue for allowing us to use these little side areas where they have the other monitors and TVs. Um, the center is just a little too tight. Um, so I think we have like six by 30s uh, as the tables. Um, schoolies would have worked a little better if we had them, but I don't know how they went about uh, grabbing them. But yeah, they're just a little too thick for the spacing. Even when we went with the L-shape kind of thing. That's up there. That's up there. Um, we got another setup that's going to be coming over here, and we'll, uh, yeah, these are really cool. They have the little side things over here so you can move them and make space. It's really helpful, um, but we should hopefully be pretty ready soon. With me out of TO mode, I prepared to play 64. However, I accidentally dropped my controller on the floor just before bracket, and the stick was stuck on a downward drift. And my attempts to open up the controller to fix it came up empty. So I ended up borrowing one of the venue's random controllers, and I got bodied. It was at least fun, but I was definitely a little sad to not play as well as I expected. I then decided to play more Melty Blood since Bracket was still going on, and I didn't want to take up a setup. After some time, Radiant and I hopped on the stream to do commentary, which was fun. As Smash 64 is a game we both share good knowledge on, and our chemistry is pretty good, I think it all turned out well. A lot of things are going to start breaking that armor, which is really scary, but if you can find one opening as Yoshi, maybe like a good dare or fair, it could change this entire game around. Oh, I still had his jump. Oh, what a slide off. Oh my god, the jump! Not quite. Still got the jump. Good. Oh, 
Oh, the dare, no jump! That's it. And the dash attack to Edgard, you don't see that too often. And that's the set. After the bracket, the two of us walked to a nearby Korean street food restaurant called Hanshin Pocha, and we ordered a bit of food and some drinks. The main food I ordered was Doc Ball, I think it's called. It's like chicken feet with like a spicy sauce. And while I tried at first to eat it with the chopsticks in like a normal manner, I realized quickly I wasn't strong enough and started using my good old grabbers. And man, it was so good. I love me some spicy food and it was super flavorful. It was definitely getting on my face, so you know by that I was going to town on it. It's okay. She might become white. This is how I become the man behind the slaughter. I don't know what that means. He's never seen FNAF before, it's over. It might be over, I don't know. It really is, it's just fucking over. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Can you even bite it? That's a bone. Look how scared, so hard. I think you're supposed to eat it like wings. I think you're right. I think I might just be fucking stupid. <laughs> okay. I chopped it up. Uh, well, you were in frame, but then it fell out. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. It's over. I mean, we have another one. Yeah, uh, yeah. More. Well, I might have the sliding. Uh, you're in frame. Is it? Uh, is it's it? recording. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, you pushed the button on accident. Okay. Are you good? Yeah, you're good. Alright. Get in there. Fuck it, we ball. This was our night's closure, though we did watch another movie before bed, Fiddler on the Roof. If you'd like to hear us talk about it, check out Radiant's vlog, which he made in an actually timely manner. Link below. Sunday started with us going to a breakfast place called Wildberries, which was really good. Compared to the hotel, this food was very extraordinary. It was also really busy, so the best I got are some pictures, but it was very, very tasty. We then made our way to the venue where we played Smash Remix. Even though I was on another venue controller, it went quite a bit better, with me going 2-2 two and two with the marina. Unfortunately, it had to end with Radiant and I facing each other, and I still can't beat the Goemon Clubhouse, but he was also cooking other people, so it's all good. When the event concluded, a bunch of us congregated outside before heading to a place called Tacos and Dagos, Don Nico Restaurant, a place with some really good tacos. It was cool just vibing with the other 64 players, especially since I didn't really do that as much this weekend. However, the chill vibes that typically come with Smash 64 events was present throughout, and ending with this was peak. When we got back to our hotel room, we watched one more movie, the 2003 version of The Count of Monte Cristo, which was really good, but I did have one issue with it. I just kind of wondered why they casted this guy, and not some Nagito Kamaeda looking guy, but I, I guess they just weren't there for it in 2003 just yet. It would take a little bit of time for the right acting choice to be given. On the last day, Radiant and I stopped by the head TO's, Klausenberg's, place to get some games. After, we went to a place called Hash Kitchen, which had some more excellent food, including some big bacon with gold. Also, I got to see Clausen's dogs, so that was Pog. But soon, the time came for me to go, and after saying goodbye to Radiant off camera, I boarded my flight home. I knew that this would mark the end of my travels for the year, and a break would be nice, since I was making trips just about every month. Combo Breaker in May, CEO in June, I had my TOing event in July, Evo in August, CEO Taku in September, first attack in October, and finally this trip in November. I was really kept busy. Surely I wouldn't have anything last minute or decide to fit one more travel at the end of the year, especially with Frosties in my next Oceanfront event in January, right? 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 I got one more in me.